Hello there, we are STS Rocketry team. I am Sanket, System Engineer at STS Rocketry. I hope everyone watching this video is in good health and spirits. For the 2021 Latin America Space Challenge, we are Team 11 competing in the entry level 0.5 km above ground level solid motor category with a project The Perfect Game. Hero, Hero is a 4.8 feet tall, fiber class composite rocket and powered by J-Class Scotts motor, which will help us get close to our desired apogee. We went with the following weight allocations with the Hero rocket this year. The weight has been optimized to ensure we reach our target apogee without any hurdles. We ran the simulation test on open rocket software, wherein our rocket hero reached the target apogee of 525 meters. As the target apogee is 500 meters, we have kept a margin of error of up to 25 to 30 meters here to neglect in the extra weight we can run in during the manufacturing of the rocket. Here you can see a graph depicting simulated CG and CP location during flight. Hero has an off-patch stability margin of 1.7, which is well within the stable range. The motor selected for Hero is Cesaroni J425. It is 38 millimeters reloadable solid rocket motor, which will take our rocket close to the desired apogee in around 11 seconds. Using the open rocket simulations with the weather parameter set to the far side, our rocket is expected to reach an apogee of 525 meters. Moving on to avionics, here's Sakshi. I am Sakshi, an avionics technician for Stealth Rocketry. For our primary altimeter, we are using Missile Box RR3C to handle the recovery events. Sitting alongside the COTS unit, the team has made its own site computer to handle recovery events, log flight data, and send them to the ground station. The student designed avionics solution consists of a voltage regulator to regulate the 11.1 volt battery to 9 volt and 3.3 volt, an Arduino Nano for controlling the system and triggering recovery events, handling sensors, etc. BMP280 to log pressure and temperature readings for altitude estimation. Adafruit Ultimate GPS, Adafruit Micro SD card module for on for data logging and Zipi SVP Pro equipped with a high gain antenna for the telemetry system. The ground station consists of a Yagyu the antenna for receiving telemetry data from our SRI telemetry solution. The data will be forwarded to the ground station Zigbee S3P Pro place on an adapter which is connected to the serial port of a computer. The desktop application connected to the serial port will display the data sent by the telemetry system. Lastly, arming of the complete avionics system is handled by two SPHT screw switches. One switch arms the SRI altimeter and another switch arms RRC3 altimeter. To acknowledge successful arming of both the electronics, the buzzer installed on them help us understand if we have successfully armed and ready for flight or we have an anomaly on pad. Moving on to recall. Using open rocket for simulation with an average wind speed of 5 meters per second, the overall drift observed was around 150 meters, with, which was an acceptable number, and hence we went with a single parachute deployment event. With this, using two redundant methods, the primary deployment happens using a pneumatic piston rig with a black powder charge at apogee with the quartz and estrad alternator, and the backup using a single black powder denial charge two seconds after apogee by quartz alternator. For this project, the piston pushes the shaft after the apogee is detected, which moves the bucket sitting on the shaft. The bucket uh, sitting flush with the parachute tablet moves the nose cone to the exit the tube and hence pushes the recovery devices off. In case of an anomaly, a second black powder charge sits right in the parachute tablet, which is triggered two seconds after the apogee, which is used to pop the nose cone again. While the recovery hardware used is selected in consideration of different shock loading, hence the harness, links, and joints used have a high factor of safety to account for greater risk during the descent. Shock cord is used to reduce the impact on the rockets connecting the bulkhead caused by the opening of main chute. Parachute weight and packing volume are an important factor to consider while calculating the force needed to be produced by black powder to eject the recovery system. We use toroidal shaped parachute as it has more drag and good stability at lower speed. It also uh, requires smallest packing space and has decent velocity of 8.14 meter per second. Hello everyone, I'm Sartak. Going on to air structures, here you can see our design. It's mostly made out of fiberglass. The whole airframe is divided into three sections, nose cone, upper airframe, and booster tube. The outer diameter is 104 mm and the total length is 160 mm. The dimensions were chosen such that all of the systems could fit com comfortably inside their tubes. The LD hack nose cone is composed of the airframe and nose tip selected to reduce aerodynamic drag. The nose tip is made of aluminium and has the ability to extend high temperatures during flight. Total six bulkheads, mounting bulkheads manufactured of fiberglass and supporting bulkheads subjected to high load are made of aluminium. Two fiberglass coupler tubes were used to house parachute and avionics subsystems. Avionics coupler also acts as a coupler that connects the upper airframe with booster tube. Fiberglass was chosen since it allows radio frequency signals to travel through it. Here you can see few simulations done on different bulkheads. Moving on to other one. Hello everyone, I'm Atharva, working as aerostructures, aerostructures technician at STS Rocketry. Discussing about the structures, the upper airframe consists of parachute coupler and half of the avionics coupler with the respective subsystem components. The nose cone shoulder will be installed in the upper airframe. The material used for the upper airframe is fiberglass. The booster tube consists of motor, fence, fin assembly and the boat tail. From the base of the booster tube, three slits were made to allow the fins to slide through. A fiberglass boat tail is used to reduce the pressure drag. After extensive study on open rocket, the team settled on using three fins of trapezoidal shape. Subsequently, fin flutter, cal fin flutter calculations were done using different materials out of which aluminum was selected. To hold the fins in place, aluminum stringers are used. An M5 buttonhead screw connects fins to the stringers while an M4 buttonhead screw connects stringers to the centering ring. Here you can see the exploded view of the fin assembly and the coupler tube. 